be a crap business. So I'm going to talk about entomopathogenic nematodes being used against large pine weevil. Now the large pine weevil is a very serious pest of reforestation sites throughout northern Europe. A reforestation site is a site where the trees have been clear felled, all cut, and this leaves an ideal breeding conditions for pine weevil to develop in. The larvae develop in the tree stumps underground and then they emerge as adults just at a time when the site has been replanted with young trees. The adults like to feed on the bark of these young trees and this feeding can actually kill them. So in a site that isn't protected, you can have up to 100% of the trees killed by weevil feeding. Forests throughout Europe are managed under sustainable forest management. Now this is certified by companies which are not fond of chemical pesticides and so these chemicals are being phased out. In particular, cypromethrin, which was the favourite chemical will no longer be in use. And so there's an urgent need for alternative controls for pine weevil. One such possible control are entomopathogenic or insect killing nematodes. These are lethal parasites of insects that can kill an insect within a couple of days. And they have this infective stage that moves through the soil seeking out the insects and can also move through other media and find hidden insects. And so there's a possibility to use these, apply them around the stumps where they will move down in search of the pine weevil larvae and kill them and thereby reduce the number of adult weevils that are available to move onto the site and damage the trees. And so we are testing this possibility in regions with rather different contrasting conditions, that's Ireland and Poland. Uh, where they have different conditions both of climate and of the weevil biology. Now, we have found uh, in our project that, yes, when the conditions are suitable for nematodes, uh, they can suppress the number of adult weevils emerging below damaging levels. Now, the key conditions that must be suitable are adequate soil moisture for the nematodes to work, and also that the weevils should not be too far under the soil surface. Within half a metre or so is okay, the nematodes can find them, but if they're really deep, then it's too much of a, a job for them. Um, now, we looked at different species, and one species, Steinernema carpocapsi, uh, gave effective control. Others were also capable of controlling, but were less consistent in their uh, action. Uh, we also looked at different soil types. Now, one of the soil types that's frequently planted uh, with coniferous forestry in Northern Europe is a, a peat soils. These are nearly pure organic matter. And we found that nematodes will work equally well in these peat soils as in the more standard mineral soil. So in addition to these uh, findings, we also optimized some of the application conditions and found con site conditions that would be suitable for successful application of nematodes. So now, Steinernema carpocapsi is already available. It's been developed for use as an insecticide against other pests. And so there should be no impediment to incorporating these nematodes into an integrated pest management system for pine weevil. And so there would just be a need to modify the decision support system to incorporate the decision to use nematodes, uh, because not every site will be suitable for them. And in fact, one of the uh, problems uh, perhaps that could be encountered uh, with applying nematodes is that uh, the soil conditions are really not always favourable for the use of this large uh, forwarder with the uh, spray rig attached. So things like uh, rough surface, very soft soil or a steep slope may make these sites unsuitable. And so one of the next steps could be to modify the application machinery uh, to suit a great, greater range of sites, thereby making nematodes more widely suitable. Um, so we've shown in summary that nematodes can be suitable for use against pine weevil in suitable bioclimatic regions and where the site conditions are also uh, amenable to their use. And so it should be possible to incorporate nematodes as one of the tools for suppression of pine weevil in, in an integrated pest management system, and thereby contributing to pesticide reduction and the sustainable management of Europe's forests.